Radio Nederland presents Netherlands Soloists, a series of chamber music concerts by leading Dutch musicians. The four Dutch violinists who will be featured in this and in the next program of this series have, however much they differ in temperament and artistic preferences, one thing in common. They are all exemplary representatives of the teaching methods of their common instructor, Professor Oscar Buck, an Austrian-Hungarian virtuoso and one-time pupil of the famous violinist Eugène Isaïe. Oscar Buck came to Holland directly after World War I and soon acted as a magnet on young violin talent in Holland and other European countries. Buck uses the well-known method introduced by Karl Flesch but adapts it to the personal needs of each of his talented pupils. His demanding personality and wide erudition have made him the central figure among Dutch violinists, a position which he still holds at the age of 83. Theo Olof, the first soloist in today's program, was born in Bonn in 1924. He made his debut at the age of five in his native town, left Nazi Germany in 1933 and went to Holland, which became his second motherland. After two years of study with Professor Buck, Theo Olof amazed Dutch audiences when in 1935, at an age of 11, he performed Paganini's concerto with the Concertgebouw Orchestra under Bruno Walter. After the war, Olof gave many concerts in all the countries of Europe and introduced various contemporary works. His first and greatest love, however, is Bach, whose second partita for violin solo he'll perform in this program. You'll hear three parts of it, Allemande, Sarabande and Gig.
The Allemande Sarabande and Gigue from the second partita for solo violin by Bach were played by Theo Olof. Apart from being a soloist and chamber music player, Olof is one of the leaders of the Hague Philharmonic Orchestra. The other one, until recently, was Hermann Krebers, whose close connection with Olof, as children they both studied with Professor Buck, led to one of the finest duos in the Netherlands. In one of the forthcoming programs of this series, they will be featured as such. Today, Hermann Krebers, born in 1923, will appear as a soloist. In contrast to Olaf's repertoire, that of Hermann Krebers tends to lay the emphasis on works calling for great virtuosity. In this program, he'll be playing compositions by Faure, Bardings and Poulenc. Here to begin with is Berceuse by Gabriel Faure. That was Berceuse by Faure. With Felix the Noble accompanying him on the piano, Hermann Krebers continues his recital with Capriccio by the Dutch composer Henk Badings. 
Barding's Capriccio was played by Hermann Krebers, accompanied by Felix de Noble. To conclude today's programme, Hermann Krebers and Felix de Noble perform Presto by Francis Poulenc in an arrangement by Yasha Heifetz. Presto for Violin and Piano by Poulenc was played by Hermann Krebers and Felix de Noble. They concluded this program in the series Netherlands Soloists, featuring two of Holland's leading violinists. The program came to you through the transcription service of Radio Nederland in Hilversum, Holland. The second part of this program will feature two of Holland's leading violinists, Theo Olof and Hermann Krebers, who have often been called the Dutch twin brothers of the violin because of their superbly matched ensemble playing as a duo. This duo, which in 1958 celebrated its 20th anniversary, has inspired many a Dutch composer to write special works for it, including Hank Bardings, whose concerto for two violins and orchestra they have performed over a hundred times in several European countries. In 1950, due to the unique qualities of this violin duo, both violinists were appointed leaders of the Hague Philharmonic Orchestra. Although a change will come about in this situation by the recent appointment of Hermann Krebers as leader of the Amsterdam Concertgebouw Orchestra, the ensemble of Olof and Krebers, which has a solid reputation in Holland and abroad, will remain in being. The exceptional qualities of their ensemble playing come to full advantage in the first item of this program, Duet in G Major by Karl Philipp Emanuel Bach.
Duet by Karl Philipp Emanuel Bach was played by Theo Olof and Hermann Krebers. The duo will now conclude this program with a work especially written for them, Sonata for Two Violins by Henk Badings.
Sonata for Two Violins by the Dutch composer Henk Buddings was performed by Theo Olof and Hermann Krebers. With this work, they concluded this program in the series Netherlands Soloists, which came to you through the transcription service of Radio Nederland in Hilversum, Holland.